Hello, everybody. I assume that we will have people slowly joining over the next 15 minutes, but we will go ahead and get started with um, today's intro material. Um, so welcome everybody to the official day one of the 2023 Summer CompuCell Workshop. Um, just got a few announcements and some things to discuss for the next 10 minutes or so. Um, I just want to remind everybody that all workshop sessions throughout the week, including these intros and Q&A sessions at the end of the day, will be live streamed um, as well as recorded and distributed on YouTube after each session is over. Uh, we will make sure to send out the links for those sessions at the end of the day in case anybody missed anything or needs to review. But we do just want to let you know that these meetings are being recorded um, pretty much at all times. Um, for the purposes of distribution. Um, just a couple of notes here to start off. So screen sharing and microphones have been disabled for participants um, in the main session during our modules. If you have questions, please submit them to the Zoom chat. We will have moderators active in each session reviewing questions. Um, some questions we can answer in the chat. Others are usually worth breaking in to ask the, or ask the instructor about. Um, so we will review your questions. If you have something very pressing that you need to have answered right away, please raise your hand um, and we can unmute you to, to ask that question. Um, if you have not done so yet, please take time now to make sure that you have a working EnoHub account and to download and install CopyCell to your desktop. Um, we will go over that fairly quickly in session one today. Um, but now that we have a little bit few extra minutes, you might just want to double check that your NanoHub account is still working and that your CompuCell will still launch, that kind of thing. Um, if you have not joined the workshop Slack channel yet, I will post the link here. Give me just one second to get it pulled up. You can join the Slack channel here. I've put that link in the chat for you. Um, and all of our materials today, and of course, maintenance waits until I start presenting to come knock on my door. It's a surefire way to get them to actually show up is to do something that they can't interrupt. So, all right, here is the student materials folder. Um, you can find all of today's slides as well as the demo materials in that folder. Um, and it may be updated as we go over the course of the day, but we'll let you know if anything in that folder changes and if you do need to re-download any files. Um, just a quick overview of today's schedule. Um, today we are discussing the basics of CompuCell 3D. For session one, we'll be doing an introduction to CompuCell as well as an overview of some of its capabilities. Let me work through a couple of exercises or um, walkthroughs on how to set up some basic simulations. Uh, module 1.2, we'll be talking about an introduction to the cellular POTS model methodology, which is the algorithm that underlies CompuCell. Um, we will have an extra session before lunch today with some CompuCell examples, um, just further discussing some of their capabilities, followed by a session on cell properties and shape determinants. Um, and then at the end of the day, we will have a 90 minute long self-guided exercise for you to work through to get some hands-on experience with CompuCell. So to give you a, some details on the actual session by session schedule time-wise, we will start at 10 o'clock today. Uh, the first session will go until 11.45, we'll a 15 minute break. Um, module 1.2 will begin at 11.45 to 1.15. We'll have our extra session, which is 45 minute, minutes long before lunch, followed by the 45 minute lunch break at two o'clock. Um, module three, we'll go from 245 to 415, another 15 minute break. And then we'll have our final session from 430 to six, followed by half an hour of um, Q&A time to have any questions answered about what we discussed during the modules. The schedule for the rest of the workshop will follow this structure. 
Um, so we go from 10 to 6 o'clock each day. Uh, these are fairly long days. We thank everybody in advance for being willing to stick them out. We think they will be very useful to you. Um, any questions about the schedule before I move on? Okay. So just a couple other things about Zoom logistics. Um, again, screen sharing and microphones are disabled by default during the modules. Please let us know if you need to unmute and ask something. Um, otherwise, you can put your questions in the chat and we will try to get to them as quickly as possible. Sometimes we have multiple questions going at once and the moderator and TAs need to circle back around. Um, so please do be patient if your question doesn't get answered right away. But if it has been, it's been, you know, five minutes or so and no one's responded, please do feel free to put it in again. Sometimes we do miss things with how quickly the Zoom chat can move. Um, feel free to use the go faster, go slower buttons in your participant screen if you feel like we're moving too quickly through something. And we'll keep an eye out for those uh, reaction buttons as they pop up. Um, we will do quick polls during exercises for just to assess how, how far the group has gotten in the exercise. Um, don't worry if you can't finish every exercise completely. Um, there will be time in module four at the end of the day to get any questions addressed and we'll have people that can help you get caught up if um, you would like to spend some portion of your time in module four asking questions about an exercise that um, maybe there were things that were unclear to you or that you needed some extra time to complete. Um, and exercises will all be available online as well, so you can continue working on them offline, either in the evenings or after the workshop, if you'd like. Just want to touch on a couple of details about the hackathon. So we will be discussing the hackathon in more detail throughout the week during the extra sessions before lunch. Uh, we will actually have at least one opportunity this week on Thursday during the extra session for people to do, people who weren't able to make the pre-workshop hackathon meetings who are interested in giving a lightning talk to pitch their project to the rest of the group. We'll have some dedicated time for that in the extra sessions during the rest of the week. Right now, we currently have one scheduled for Thursday. Depending on the number of people who do want to present, we can do more lightning talks either on Wednesday or Friday as well. Um, we'll see how that, that plays out for the rest of the week. Um, teams for the hackathon will be largely self-organized. Self the um, organizational team here is perfectly willing to help suggest some teams for people or help um, people who have a project idea but don't have group members yet. We can help you find group members, um, but the teams will be mostly self-assembled. So please do work through the Slack channel um, and the shared teaming document, which I will include in tonight's evening announcements, some details on how to use that. And we'll talk about that more tomorrow during the extra session as well. Uh, but please use the site channel and the teaming document to help yourself find group members or find a group to join. Um, the hackathon will be mostly dedicated work time for each group. We'll do check-ins in the morning and at noon each day. And then on the end of the second day, you'll have a slightly more formalized we say written here, it's not really written, it's more just a presentation of your model and the progress you've made over the weekend um, so that we can get a feel for where each group is by the end of the hackathon because we do offer post-hackathon support for anybody who would like to continue working on their project after the hackathon period is over or if anybody is interested in turning something they've started in the hackathon into a publication or potentially a thesis project, um, we will be available to help out with that. Um, once the workshop has concluded. Um, we will be using CompuCell on NanoHub today. If you have not made a NanoHub account yet, we do have some time built into module one to do that, um, but I would recommend going to do that now. Um, let me, I think I have these links as well. I can drop these in. To the chat.
Um, so the CC3D base 4X tool is the one that we'll be using today if you are using NanoHub or if you are using CompuCell on NanoHub. Um, if you would like to do a local install, you can find the installer packages if you have not installed it yet for um, your local computer. You can find all of the source binaries here. Um, it's recommended that everybody have both a local installation and a NanoHub account set up. That way, if something goes bad with one or the other, you have a backup option. Um, it's not super common, but sometimes we do have people's CompuCell installs go bad during the workshop um, due to either unforeseen bugs or things that we know about that usually would take too long to actually fix during a module. Um, so if you are having issues with your CompuCell installation, please let us know as soon as possible and we can try to get around to help you during one of the breaks. Um, but having a nano, if you are running locally, having a NanoHub account set up is a good backup so that if something does go wrong with your installation, you can switch to NanoHub for the, the rest of the, the session at least um, and vice versa. If you're running into a lot of problems with NanoHub, it's good to have a local install so you can jump over to that. Um, so yes, we do have, um, we do recommend that you have both installed. I have realized now that my version number here is not updated yet. So the current CompuCell version is 4.4.1. The binary installation packages will reflect that when you follow this link. Um, and it is currently using Python 3.9 and 3.10, I believe, but the current installers will pull in the correct version of Python that you need to run CompuCell. Um, we'll update this slide for future welcomes starting tomorrow. Um, where to find resources. So again, these slide decks are available in the student materials folder. If you need to check any of these resources out, we have some basic um, guides and documentation on some of the different software packages that will be used both this week and, and next week. Um, and we will provide links to anything that you need along the way. These are just some things to kind of get you started uh, if you'd like to do some additional reading outside of class. So with that, here's our list of people. Again, if you need to get in touch with anybody directly, these emails are all available in the slide decks. Um, if you have a question, but you're not sure who to address it to, please just send it to me, Hayden Fennell, um, at iu.edu. Um, keep in mind the email address has one L. My last name has two. Email address only has one. Point of confusion sometimes, um, like right now, because Zoom autocorrects my name for me every time I try to type it in. So there is my email in the chat. If you're not sure who to contact, send me an email and I will direct it to the most relevant person if I cannot answer you directly. <laughs>